$400 billion. This is the amount of money that the United States spends each year importing oil from foreign countries. Currently, the United States receives 57% of its oil from international sources. And in two years alone, the United States will spend more money on oil than it did on the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. Clearly, oil dependence is one of America's greatest current problems. Many groups and organizations will state that the best way to reduce dependence on foreign oil is to invest and develop alternative renewable energy resources, such as solar and wind power. However, according to the United States Department of Energy, these sources are currently underdeveloped and not economically feasible for large-scale energy production. Wind power requires high initial investment costs, and energy produced by wind farms cannot be stored unless developers invest in expensive batteries. Solar energy also has several setbacks. Solar panels are extremely expensive, and solar power plants require vast expanses of land in order to be economically feasible. While these sources may play a large role in America's future, they are currently not suitable to provide national energy demands. What's even worse about America's dependence on foreign oil is that it consequently financially supports international terrorist organizations and foreign hostile national governments. Wealthy individuals and charities in the Middle East are currently the largest source of funding for international terrorist organizations. Take, for example, Saudi Arabia, which receives $55 billion each year from oil revenue. In Saudi Arabia, citizens must pay 2.5% of their income to charities as part of a national religious tax. While the majority of these institutions are credible, many serve as money laundering and terrorist financing apparatuses. What further complicates the problem is the fact that the flow of funds in Middle Eastern states is extremely difficult to track due to the use of the Hawala system. Through this system, money transactions are carried out verbally, leaving no paper trails to track the flow of funds. Because of this, there is a phenomena of wealthy citizens sending money to charities that root money to terrorist organizations with little evidence afterwards. Most of these wealthy individuals have received their fortunes off the petroleum industry, funded by Western oil importers. These oil funds are also, fi also financially support hostile foreign governments such as Iran and Venezuela. In 2005 alone, oil revenue in Iran increased by 25%. The wealthier Iran becomes, the easier it is for the country to snub U.S. efforts to stop Tehran from acquiring nuclear weapons. The greatest way to combat this international crisis is to reduce the disposable income and wealth generating capacity of foreign enemies. The largest way to implement this action will come from offshore drilling on the outer continental shelf of the United States. On March 31st, 2010, President Barack Obama reversed remaining bans on offshore drilling. It is now up to individual state legislators to decide if offshore drilling will be allowed off the coast of their states. It is clear that legislators must act to allow offshore drilling. Not only will this action reduce international funding to terrorist organizations and foreign national governments, but it will provide an array of state and national economic benefits. Um, according to the American Energy Alliance, the outer continental shelf of the United States contains over 86 billion barrels of recoverable oil and over 420 trillion cubic feet of recoverable natural gas. If oil and natural gas production were to begin, the United States would receive over $8 trillion in economic output to the GDP. This production would add an extra 2% to the national GDP for the next 30 years. Also, offshore drilling would generate $1.6 trillion in, national, in federal tax revenue and over $0.6 trillion in state and local tax revenue. This could be used to refill state, national, and local coffers which have been exhausted due to the recent real estate and credit crisis. More importantly, offshore drilling would provide 1.2 million jobs annually across the country. This would result in $70 billion in additional wages, wages for workers each year. U.S. investors would benefit from increased funds to U.S. companies, and since, mo since most American <coughs> retirement portfolios include oil stock, this wealth would be widespread. If state legislators open their coasts for oil and natural gas production, they would create hundreds of thousands of jobs across the country and provide billions in new wages and tax revenue for millions in the United States without any increase in government spending. Those who are still opposed to offshore drilling cite the environmental hazards that coincide with offshore energy production. I consider myself to be an environmentalist and was initially skeptical of offshore drilling myself. However, the practice is not nearly as polluting as, as it is often made out to be. Surprisingly, U.S. oil rigs pose very little threat to environmental systems. Um, offshore oil rigs have proven to be 99% clean, and since 1980, roughly 100,000 barrels of oil have been spilled out of the 11.86 billion barrels of oil that have been recovered. If you think that this 100,000 barrels of oil is a large number, consider this fact. Each year, 620,000 barrels of oil organically ooze into the Atlantic Ocean from the North American floor plates. According to this, Mother Nature is 95 times dirtier than offshore oil drilling. Also surprising is the fact that marine life flourishes around offshore rigs. This is because offshore rigs pose as artificial reefs for marine life. Um, individuals and legislators should debate offshore drilling with the knowledge that the practice poses little environmental harm. Now that the power to begin the process of offshore drilling in the United States 
lies in the hands of state legislators. I encourage anyone to act to contact state legislators through email or letters to voice support for offshore oil production. <laughs> the process is simple and will take only a few minutes. A simple email to a coastal state legislator saying you support offshore drilling is all it takes. Your support could be a driving force that limits America's funding to international terrorist organizations and could provide jobs and revenue for millions of people across the country. Your support is necessary. Thank you. <laughs>